Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we're coming to you with another post of the week. And today we're going to talk about the crack vulnerability. Uh, this has been in the news lately, but anyway, the, the crack vulnerability, spelled K-R-A-C-K, stands for Key uh, Reinstallation Attacks. And this um, this vulnerability or this attack specifically targets the WPA2 protocol that is used to secure communication between a mobile device and a wireless router. So, give you a little bit of a, uh, maybe a little diagram here. Let's say you have like your mobile phone here. Um, you got your little, you know, Android device or iPhone or whatever, and you want to connect into a wireless router at your house or um, that's a wireless router, by the way, uh, maybe at work or wherever it is. And then this thing, of course, is connected to the, you know, the big bad internet out there. Um, all right, but this right here, whenever you set up your wireless router, you're gonna say, hey, I wanna secure this thing. A lot of us do that at home or wherever you are because you don't want just this open you know, access point to let anybody access it. So the communication between the router and the device is, uh, is protected with the WPA2 in a, lot of, in a lot of cases, WPA2 encryption. Uh, what happens when WPA2 is used is whenever a device initially connects to the access point or to the router, uh, there, there, uh, there's a four-way handshake that happens to establish the secure communication and the encrypted communication between the wireless device and the router. And so I will just draw a, uh, just a series. I won't go into the details of the exact steps of the four-way handshake. But basically, the access point sends some random numbers, uh, the device calculates some things and sends it back to the, um, the, the wireless uh, router. The wireless router sends back some more encrypted kind of key, you know, exchange type stuff. And then finally, the, uh, the wireless device sends a message back, the fourth message that says, hey, we're all good to go. And uh, now we're all set up. And then the encrypted communication can happen between device and router and then you're accessing the internet, the whole thing, everybody's happy. All right, well, what the crack uh, vulnerability does is it takes advantage of this protocol, the WPA2 protocol, and, um, and it is, is set up in such a way that a, an attacker can establish a man-in-the-middle position between the device and the router, and so any, you know, all of these different messages, uh, if there's a man-in-the-middle right here, I'll put, you know, man-in-the-middle uh, in, you know, right here, Anytime information is sent from one to the other, it is going to come through the man in the middle. So then they can send replay, you know, information or whatever uh, back and forth to these two different devices. All right. So specifically, now that now that someone's had a man in the man in the middle position established in between these two devices, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight and circle this one right here. This is uh, message number three of the four way handshake. And this is the access point sending stuff back to the device saying, hey, we're starting to, to get encrypted here. Um, and, then, uh, and then the device sends back, you know, once it's, it's good, sends back and says, hey, we're good. All right, what, what the crack vulnerability allows the attacker to do is um, send several of these message three messages back to the end uh, mobile device. And so when the end mobile device gets a bunch of these uh, message threes of the four-way handshake messages, um, then it is going to uh, reinstall, so I'm going to say reinstall the key that was generated to establish the secure communication between the device and the router. And so, uh, which that gets back to the key reinstallation part of the crack vulnerability. Um, if a bunch of these are sent, then the mobile device is going to reinstall that key. One of, the, uh, one of the, the problems with the protocol for WPA2 is that it allows the same key to be reinstalled multiple times um, as these messages come back saying, hey, let's reinstall the key, reinstall the key. It can reinstall the same key that it's used before. It does not, the WPA2 protocol does not require a new key to be reinstalled every single time. Uh, so with that, on certain um, on certain end devices, specifically Android devices, uh, Linux-based devices are especially vulnerable to this, but there's also Apple and Windows and, and other devices as well that are vulnerable. Um, the, uh, the key reinstallation can be tricked so that, I'm going to put all zero key. It can be, the, the end device can be tricked 
so that when the key is reinstalled here as a part of the, uh, the answer to this message three, then the device will install an all zero key. Well, if your key for the encryption is nothing but zeros, then this man in the middle is gonna easily be able to decrypt all that. And so once that all zero key is installed, now the man in the middle can decrypt everything and he can see all the communication between uh, mobile device and, and the wireless router. Um, one other quick thing that I was going to point out is there is a, if you have, say, you know, web applications out here, you know, in the, uh, hosted in the internet, then you can secure these web applications uh, with SSL or TLS encryption, and that SSL TLS is going to go all the way from the end device to your web applications out here that are SSL or TLS enabled. Um, so just to be clear, the crack vulnerability specifically targets the communication between the mobile device and the wireless router. The, uh, if, if your web application is secured via SSL or TLS, then that is an established encryption tunnel between end device and web application. And so uh, the crack vulnerability does not, does not look, or affect, look at or affect that specific tunnel. Uh, there, are other, there are other attacks out there, like SSL strip tool is one that could cause a web application to not use SSL and just use straight HTTP, like in the clear traffic. Um, if your web application was forced to do something like that and this crack tool was used to uh, decrypt all the, all the uh, traffic between your device and the router, then at that point, the, uh, the attacker is going to have everything at that point. So... But anyway, I did want to did want to make that uh, you know that that distinction between what crack is targeting and what SSL TLS encryption also covers. So uh, so the crack is looking at this WPA2 between the device and uh, the wireless router. So uh, the by the way the there is a patch out there, uh, but the patch needs to be installed on every single end device because that's the thing that's really vulnerable here. So uh, so that could be a uh, it could be a challenge for some businesses, let's say, that have a bring your own device policy, um, you know, just, hey, all your people need to install this, uh, this patch. Um, but nonetheless, today, I just want to make sure we understood what crack was, what it, what it targets, what it does not target, um, and then, you know, get out there and, uh, and patch your end devices uh, as, as needed. So uh, thanks for watching this post of the week with us today, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.